That's why we're gonna call Albularios. We cannot kill a beautiful witch immediately. We have to talk to her. Like, what's the problem? Do you want to change? But it's an it's an ugly witch. No explanation. Tagag. Hi, tagag. They will poison you by herbal and they will cure you by another herbal. Those stupid people in the haunted house that there's no, there's ghosts, there's ghosts and they're not yet getting out of the house, you deserve to die. You deserve to die. You have to visit some 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 place before going home. Okay. So that the spirit will go to that place instead, instead of your home. I'm like talking to three witches right now, by the way. Hi there, I'm Jessica with Camille and Gia and you are watching the Halloween special of G-Talk. Are you afraid of the dark? Tabi tabi po. I see dead people. Dahil malapit na ang Undas. Undas is the annual holiday commemorating the um, the dead. It's a tradition for Filipinos to visit um, the cemeteries during All Saints Day and All Souls Day. And pag Undas, uh, meron din takutan or scaring each other by sharing ghost or horror stories. And to help us scare you for this Halloween episode, we got a stand-up comic. So you're probably going to laugh to death. <laughs> so please welcome 2016's uh, Laugh Factory Funniest Person in the World first runner up Alex Callejas. Hi, hi girls. Hi, hi. Gia. Hi. 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 hi, hi. So before I begin, uh, it's Undas. 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 Okay, it's already you know you're giving me already a, heart, a headache for for the, the term. So it's Undas. And I'm Calleja. Calleja is a Spanish Calleja. name, so without S. Oh. Unless I'm there's there's a lot there's two of us. It's Callejas. I know it's Halloween. Um, in the U.S. it's trick or treat. Um, here in the Philippines we don't have that trick or treat yet. Unless you're 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 living in a in a very rich village or subdivision, we do it November one. Not because for not not to commemorate the dead, the dead, but to you know, spend time with the. It, we make it as a get together. We, we yeah, we, we, we gamble, we gamble, we drink, and uh, we we use the. It's true story. We use the. The two yeah, stuff. To play, yes, to play cards, to play Where music. Yeah. I've heard story. of that. Yeah, it's uh the, the the cemetery is like full house, but now because there's COVID nineteen, the cemetery will be closed, so we're not be. We're, it's not allowed to go there. So what are you gonna yeah. do? Me? Um, um, I believe this. So they have the spirit will have to visit us for a change. <laughs> we we have funny tradition. Um, this is related to Halloween also. If, here in the Philippines, if you go to a like wake, a wake or a, it's a lamay, you do you cannot go home straight. After visiting the the relatives of the dead person, he or she cannot. Uh, he or she cannot uh, like um, walk with you to the door. You have to walk alone because um, it's the tradition that if, if the relative will uh, like um, walk you to the door or to your car, another person will die. Okay, I've yeah. never heard of that. And then if you if there's food, if there's food in the wake, you cannot take home the food. You have to eat it there because if you take home. The spirit will follow you and get the food back. <laughs> but I, I know I don't believe that. Also, I'm 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 guessing it's there's no there's no like budget for the food. That's why they're they're just scaring the guests. That's that's my interpretation. And the final the final straw. This is true story. We call it pagpag. Are you familiar with pagpag? Pagpag is if you visit a wake or a lamay when there's a dead person. You cannot go straight to your house. If you go straight to your house, the spirit will follow you to your home. Okay, and I've heard of that. Yes, that's true. 
That's why you have to visit Starbucks or 7-Eleven along the way to buy something. So all the spirits are in Starbucks and 7-Eleven. Is the drive through okay or do you have to go in? Yes, uh, drive through is counted. Yes, that's why in here, all the spirits, all the ghosts are in 7-Eleven and in Starbucks. <laughs> do you still believe in that uh, the 13, the, 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 the number 13, a lucky number? Number 13 is an unlucky number. Here are our, our buildings no no 13th floor oh if you're yeah. chinese no fourth no number four it's considered bad luck for chinese for number four if you see a building that it has the, no number four chinese is the owner if if third no seriously if number 13 it's uh everybody else and that's really? stupid also right that's stupid also right imagine if you're the spirit if you're the spirit <laughs> you will go you will ride the elevator you will count 9, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 14. Oh my God, no 13. This is a lucky building. This is a, we cannot hunt this building. There's no 13th floor. So that's a, those are the tradition here. Okay, Alex, I am super excited with this episode because I have a scary story to share later on. But do you believe in ghosts or mythical creatures? Yes, because who are you going to call? <laughs> We're gonna call. Not the Ghostbusters. No, not the Ghostbusters. We don't have Ghostbusters in the Philippines. We have Albulario. We have the Quack Doctors. We call it the Quack Doctors, the Albularios. We have the Mangoku. Yes. yes. I think the most common and maybe the creepiest among all is the white lady. I'm sure everybody has some a story about the white lady. Well, except yes. for Jessica never had any paranormal experience. Have you heard of the 3 a.m. Palete Drive Challenge? Let, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, interrupt you with the 3 a.m. I'm so confused because in the 80s, Gia, the witching hour <laughs> is 12 o'clock. Who okay. adjusted it? <laughs> Who adjusted and changed the rule to 3 a.m.? <laughs> I think the white lady. Yes! Just, just imagine the white ladies talking the following morning. Hey, why are you so sleepy? I was assigned at 3 a.m. <laughs> what, what time? You were at 12 a.m. Lucky you. Balete is a place in Manila where they, it's famous because there's a white lady. Before 12 a.m. Now Gia knows 3 a.m. I don't know what's the truth anymore. But I have also one question. Is there a, like a group of white ladies or, or like like a, a member uh, like a, you know an organization where they talk they meet and they assign ghosts to a certain place hey you you go to Balin Balete you're assigned at Balete you you assign to this church who assigned you cannot just go there Balete because there's another ghost assigned it's gonna be a fight right this means war you know I know the Balete Balete is here is somewhere in Quezon City the Balete is a kind of tree it's a tree and that place, there's a lot of palete. And palete is associated with like creatures, ghosts. So that place, there's a lot of palete. And there's there was a, a story that um, there's a taxi driver, there's a taxi driver that um, there's a white lady in palete who, who hailed the taxi. And then the, the lady went inside the taxi and then while 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 the the, the taxi is running, the dra taxi driver look at the back and the lady is gone. So we avoid that place at 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. because you know the white lady is waiting. You're a white lady. We're in a very like secluded place, like all trees, no people, no policeman. And I'm a guy, and you're wearing white. And I'm a guy, and I saw you. I don't think I'm not I'm not gonna be afraid of you. I'm gonna take selfie. I'm like like gonna get your number or IG. Do you have an IG? Because you're wearing white midnight. There's something <laughs> wrong. You should be afraid. I mean I've heard of dwarves, but I've never thought that they were like a mythical creature like for like There's, I have another problem. I have another problem with dwarves. <laughs> they're they're oh. too small. They're too small. <laughs> If you're small, if you're small, yeah, they're like the small old man in like a small child form, right? First of all, first of all, here in the Philippines, we believe that when you urinate, <laughs> when you urinate and you like accidentally urinated the dwarves, 
<laughs> they will do something for you. They will like make you your like your make your your bigger, everything bigger. So for some people who's who's looking for enlargement, go to the Philippines, look for a dwarf, urinate, and it, <laughs> the dwarf will make your longer. But only when it's full moon. Here in the Philippines, when there's a dwarf, you have to avoid. Uh, you have to say tabi tabi po. It means excuse me, excuse me. See, excuse me, excuse me. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. Just imagine, if I'm if I'm going to urinate, and I can't see you, it's not my fault anymore. <laughs> it's your fault. If you see that, if you see me about to urinate, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Don't like. Don't I'm just gonna punish you. I'm just gonna punish you. You're too small. I can't see you. And sometimes we offer food. We offer food. If there's like a, we we also we all we all we always miss. Uh, we always think that there if there's an ant hill. Are you familiar with an ant hill? It's the it's the house of the dwarves. Mm -hmm. So we offer food. Usually it's sweet. And the following day it's gone because you know the ants took it. <laughs> 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 Okay, and, uh, yeah. or the neighbor. Sometimes that we believe also that the dwarves will will bring fortune, will bring luck. Yeah, which I have a problem also, because it, the dwarves are like um, like um, genie, like genie. They will uh, give grant your wish. I don't believe that, because if <laughs> if they can grant my wish, why cannot they make themselves taller? <laughs> Help them, <laughs> help yourself, please. Before you help somebody, please make yourself improve yourself so that you can avoid, you know, being urinated. So, Alex, the Capra or the tree demon, they smoke cigars, they're big, they're hairy, and they have a strong smell that attracts humans. Have you heard of them? I have a problem with Capra also. I have a problem with Capra. There's a lot of non smoking zone here in the Philippines. They're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> because we, we, we yes, the, the police can catch you while you're smoking. Unless you convert to vape. If you're vaping, that's okay. I wanna see a Capre smoking vape. <laughs> and I have a problem with Capre because they're big. And I don't see Capre in the morning. Only they're like. big. I can understand the dwarves. They're, they're little. They can, I, we cannot see them. But the Capre. Like, just, you can see Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. You can see them. You can you can see Shaquille O'Neal like ten feet or one hundred meters away. So I don't know where they go. The Capre. I don't believe in Capre. And Tikbalang also. Are you familiar with Tikbalang? Yes. The, the Tikbalang is bobo. The, the, the Tikbalang is stupid. Why? Hindi <laughs> ginaya yung centaur. Centaur, good choice. Why? Lower portion, horse. Upper portion, human. Centaur. The tikbalang, stupid. Lower, human. Upper, horse. Bobo. The um, Sirena and the Shokoi, the um, mermaid and the merman, they're the aquatic creatures with the human body and a fish tail. And the, the Shokoi is the other way around. It's the fish, upper, and the lower, the human. It's another Bobo, bobo choice. And Serena, <laughs> Serena, lower portion fish, upper portion girl, very dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're human. used to attract, they, what do they, they attract and enchant and even abduct men, right? No, 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 that's not true. They abduct, yes, they abduct fisherman who wants to uh, catch fish for food. The lower half, they get the upper human. They throw away. What? Yes. Who needs another wife? Are you familiar, are you familiar with uh, Manananggal? Oh yes. Manananggal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jessica, you're like you're like no. you know, you're social. You're so you're rich. Manananggal in English is like separator. Separator. <laughs> you know why separator? Because they separate. <laughs> The Manananggal is like, I'm going to tell you about Manananggal. It's a lady 
that at 12 midnight, the lower portion from the torso to the to the foot, it will remain on the ground. The upper portion, the the from the from the pusod, from the <laughs> from the, the from the waist up to the up to the head, it will it, it, <laughs> there will be a, a wing like a bat, and it will fly. But she has to return before before the sun rise because you know so he, he will she will eat and then she has to return i have a problem with that also i have what a problem with that <laughs> what's your problem yes remember you're you're like separating two two bodies right split into two what's the assignment of the organs what's the assignment <laughs> who will take the kidney who will take the liver <laughs> What if you you left <laughs> you left your kidney to the lower portion and you were flying and then you suddenly I want to urinate. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot my kidney. So, there's another problem. Second, second. Here in the Philippines, it always floods. There's always flooding. What if you leave, <laughs> what if you leave your uh, lower body and then you fly and it rains? <laughs> It rains and the flood is waist high. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. The sun is about to rise. You're going back to your body. It's flooded. You're looking. Oh my God, where's my body? Where's my... <laughs> you have to ask many people, have you seen a body here? Yes. <laughs> but, this... but Alex, they say yeah. that if you find the lower torso, you're supposed to sprinkle salt and vinegar. I have another problem with that also. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know the person who discovered that salt can kill the manananggal. Did he experiment? I don't think it, it was like a, a success on the first try. Maybe if he, he put first onion, onion. Oh, it's not working. Tomato, it's not working. Pepper, it's not working. Until he reached the salt. Oh, salt is working. Spread the word. Spread the word. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. No, salt only. If you put salt, salt and vinegar, that's already seasick. That's already seasick. Put soy sauce, that's adobo. <laughs> you know, you know, you don't have to do salt to kill. All you have to do is wait. You buy many mannequins. Are you mannequins? You buy mannequins, saw the lower portion, spread, spread the lower portion near. Near the actual lower portion of the Manalangal and let let her suffer because it's going to be trial and error. Oh my oh, this is not my body! This is not <laughs> just confuse it. When the, the Manalangal is arriving, you hide behind the tree and you say, Tanan tan tanan tan tan you know, just to annoy her. Just to annoy her. Alex, according to Wikipedia, the Asmong is an umbrella term for various shape-shifting evil spirits in Filipino folklore. And it's a cross between a human and a vampire. Some say they can disguise themselves as a beautiful woman and can transform into a boar or a huge dog. And you have the titi, which serves as a spotter for its master, the Aswang. Another problem with Aswang. <laughs> See, the reason why they are caught easily because when they transform like a big dog, big dog, for example, they go, um, uh, on the top of the roof, rooftop. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see a big dog on a rooftop, that's a swang. That's stupid. That's stupid. If I'm the swang, I'll convert into a cockroach. <laughs> because cockroach itself is already scary. Cockroach <laughs> itself is already scary. Whenever you see a cockroach, you run. So why convert to a dog? Convert to a cockroach. When you see a cockroach on the roof, that's normal. So that's stupid. Why convert to a dog? People will kill you. And now, let's do some social relevant um, observation coming from Alex Kalier. Let's talk. We're talking about aswang. Aswang. How judgmental are we human beings right now when it comes to look? Imagine, imagine if, like a witch, witch hunt, witch hunt. If there's a witch hunt, if the the, the lady is ugly, the lady is ugly. If you have your like fire, you have your spears, and hey, witch, come out of the house. If that lady is ugly, you immediately kill the lady. No explanation. Just imagine, 
if you girls are the witch like Gia, <laughs> Jessica, and Cam, imagine, hey, witch, come out! And like Jessica is coming out the house, yes? You know what the people will tell? Wait, wait! Let her explain. Maybe there's an explanation for this. Maybe we can help her. Maybe it's a disease. Maybe we can talk to her. Let's put our spear down. Relax. That's how that's how unfair when it comes to look. My family was on their way as well to Baguio. And then we stopped. We stopped somewhere. My dad was talking to I think one of his cousins under a tree. The entire trip we were there for like about two weeks in the Philippines. We get back home. My dad is healthy. All of a sudden he started getting really sick, like boils everywhere. Uh, and, and he would go to the doctors and they ran all of the tests and they could not pinpoint what it was. And so my mom, knowing a, uh, she knew she had heard of a faith healer uh, or a, a Filipino good witch. So my mom asked my dad, hey, do you want to go and try her? And my dad, who does not believe in any of this, he was like, no. So he tried, you know, he waited a few more weeks or a month. And then finally, because he wasn't getting any better, my mom was like, let's go. So he went, she took, she took a like candle, a candle, she lit it, and then she let the wax drip in a bowl of water. And it went tawa. into- we call that We call that tawas. Tawa, okay, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, tawas, then, yeah. So it it went into the shape of a tikbalam. Uh, she asked for a volunteer, asking them to be a medium. So the lady, she had her candle. She did her whole candle thing. She put it over his head, down down his body. And then she placed her, her hands on his head, down on his shoulders, down his arms, and then just down from like his knees down to his feet. And he said he felt pain wherever she, she put her, her hands and a, like hot, like heat, like really, really hot, hot heat. And then the next thing you know, you hear something coming out of the person the, who, who had volunteered to be the medium. And there's this full on conversation happening. And she's basically asking the Tikbalang, like, why did you, why are you causing this man harm? What did he do? And so the Tikbalang gave excuse, you know, whatever reasons it might be. And so at the end of all of it, it was my dad had somehow offended this Tikbalang by getting in the space underneath the tree. And then, and so the conclusion of it was giving it like food, putting food out type thing for a certain amount of time and over time my dad started healing i will like i i will never forget the freaky voice that happened through the medium the tikbalang happened in manila but the power still reached the u.s the tikbalang went into my dad in and wherever near baguio yeah then that your dad took it in the u.s also yeah my god there's a problem with the immigration there because <laughs> <laughs> did not pass the immigration. <laughs> there's another. There's a legal problem there. I was. I'm, I'm looking at the legal problem, and I was like going to the. When you were like mentioning, he touched the what? The the head. The the. What? She what just placed her, her hands on his head and then on uh, his shoulders. Anything like your head, your toe, your shoulder. <laughs> oh my God, anak ni Janice. Yeah, anak ni Janice. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, I know yeah, that's, the, that's the Chanak. That's the Chanak. Chanak, yeah. Be, be, besides being the, the, the offspring of the, the devil, it's, a, it's like the aborted fetus, fe, fe, uh, like an aborted fetus taking its revenge. Here in the Philippines, is, is also we believe also like that. But there's also a problem with, uh, with the Chanak. It's walking. Just, just walking is like, there's a problem with me walking. Because um, Chanak is like, Abandoned babies. I don't know who taught them how to walk. Anak ni Janice is a uh, is a very famous um, tag way back in the 80s. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> nagkaanak na talaga si Janice. <laughs> so you have a problem with mangkumulams or bruha or Philippine witches? Yes, yes. I have a problem also with the mangkumulam and the witches. Okay, what's um, your problem? True story first. True story first before I make fun of the mangkumulams. True story. If you're familiar with Sikior, Sikihor is the place where they call there's a lot of aswang. But true story, it's like there's science involved. It's business. Why? They the so-called mangkukulams, when you when you arrive sa airport or pier, when you arrive in Sikihor, there are a lot of ano, like bystanders waiting. 
the rule here is if you're smoking, if you're a smoker, don't keep your smoke. Because here in the Philippines, we, we light our cigarette by just asking for your cigarette. Hey, can I have your cigarette? And then we light our, our cigarette by using another lighted cigarette. And then we, we return to the user. That's the explanation. Why? I'm the mangkukulam. Here in my fingertips, there's a plant. There's like a plant extract or a mixture that will cost you like to diarrhea, will cost you to to like skin breakout and everything. Sa, sa tip of the, 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 the tip of the finger. So when when you when he asks for the smoke, he will touch the the filter of your cigarette where you where you put your mouth. So when he lights the cigarette and it, and he returns the cigarette to you, the moment you puff, you will uh, you will get the you will get the chemicals. Scientific scientific mixture. There's a logic. So you will have stomach ache, you will have skin rashes, and you will believe it's mangkukulam. But the antidote they will also provide. That's where they will get the money. You will pay them. Oh, we know we know, we know another fit, we know a paid healer there who can who can make you better because he knows the antidote. And we'll try to like drink something that will cure you. But They're supposed to be great herbalists. Herbalist is the, yeah. I'm a herbalist. So that's the that's the business explanation, and it's true. As for for mangkukulam, that's why I have a problem with mangkukulam. Is when they're trying to imitate voices, like when they're talking to the the suspect. Hoy, bakit mo bakit mo sinasaktan to? Like your dad, but mo sinasaktan, and they will do the voices like. Kasi galit ako sa kanya. Galit ako sa kanya. Usually the duende, the duende. Galit ako sa kanya. Galit ako sa kanya. And they all sound alike. Eh, galit ako sa kanya. Eh, kahit ako ngayon. Gusto mo mapossess ako ngayon? Galit ako sa kanya. Galit ako sa kanya. You want a capre? Galit ako sa kanya. Galit ako sa kanya. You want a lady? Galit ako sa kanya. Nagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagp
<laughs> I, I'm going back. I was about to finish my steak. I was dead then. Really, I died. I was here. It was here. Somebody took the steak. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Oh man. One more. Okay. I, I have to do this. I have, I have a lot of problems with ghosts. Okay. And you know this, all ghosts are prepared. All ghosts are prepared. That's so impossible. When you open the door. Oh. Like, when you open the door. Oh. My god. That, I want to I want like to, to see a goat who's not prepared also. Who was also surprised when I opened the door like oh, oh, oh my god. I'm not just mad. Oh, it's not working. So I, I want to catch a goat who's also caught by surprise. It's like we were, we were both surprised. Like, oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I, I, I didn't thought you were. I was, I was, I was informed that you're going home at 8 p.m. I'm not yet prepared. My god! I have to destroy my makeup. Oh, oh. <laughs> and ladies, ladies. When you were leaving, when you were not a ghost yet, you were always like, wearing makeup. You were like always beautiful. Why when you were a ghost and you want to talk to us? Why you look like what you, you look like horrible? You're like, I wanna <laughs> like, like it's always midnight, dark, and your head is spinning. I wanna talk to you. And there's blood. Oh my god, if you wanna talk to me, like wait for morning, 7 a.m. Wait at my sofa. You like make Hi, Alex. I will talk to you because you're like attractive. Not when 12 midnight, you're like 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 appearing from the walls. And you're like, oh. and you're like green stuff is coming out of your mouth. I want to talk to you. Help me. My God, I cannot help you. If you're like that, you cannot talk to me. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is the right time. After breakfast, you sit slowly, make up. Beautiful game, like for example, if Gia, um, Gia Jessica, um, uh, come. If you're like that, that's an acceptable. <laughs> that's an acceptable appearance. Oh, so there's a uh, recently there's been some fascination in the hunt for the aswang in the history and uh, travel channels, but somebody somehow nobody has come close to finding one. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya? Aswang, kasi um, it's they always um. Aswang is uh, they walk they work closely together. Uh, they work aswang. <laughs> I just have to say that. I just have to say that. I did not know. I can I can say that in English anymore. I can do that joke. <laughs> work aswang. Oh my god. My God, I have my top, the top of my comedy skills. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed our Halloween episode with Alex Callier. Thank you so much. You you have been doing online shows. Do you have any shows coming up? Um, I have a birthday show, October 24, um, 8.30 p.m. Manila time. Tickets can be bought from Tickets to Me. Um, uh, ticket to me, uh, dot com. So it's 500 pesos. It's like ten dollars ten dollars us and uh i have 20 comedians doing stand-up comedy so it's like three hour show with celebrities and singers it's like my uh, proceeds of that proceeds of that birthday show will go to me <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it's my birthday of course it's my birthday <laughs> i have to help myself first so just just follow me on my social media alex calleja 1007 and alex calleja i have a youtube channel I have a lot of stand-up comedy. All right, so um, we watch out for that. Thank you so much, Alex. This has been so much fun. <laughs> According to the Thought Catalog site, some anthropologists actually created the Aswang myth as a way to keep the population under control in the Philippines. So yeah, we may true. never know. We that's may true. never know why we have so many, but hopefully this episode is giving you a glimpse of the unknown and the bizarre. But if there's one thing that is 100% true, it's that we get to talk to these mythical creatures every year during Undas. So, same time next year, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.